मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर मनीष रावत वास्कुलर एंड एंडोवास्कुलर सर्जन फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद एंड दिस इज अ स्मॉल अटेम्प्ट टू क्रिएट एन अवेयरनेस वीडियो अबाउट द वर्क दैट वी डू पीपल आस्क दैट हाउ डू वी नो दैट वी आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम पेरिफरल वास्कुलर डिसीज सो देयर आर सम कॉमन सिम्टम्स दैट पेशेंट्स विल फेस इफ दे आर डेवलपिंग पेरिफरल वास्कुलर डिसीज so first of all we have to understand that peripheral vascular disease is common among few subset of patients like smokers commonest group of patients that we see regularly are smokers second group of patients that we commonly see are diabetics so these two group of patients should be very very careful and they should get the evaluation of their peripheral arterial system very regularly just like they get ecg for their heart so the common symptoms they would face is the pain in the legs while walking this is usually the first sign that you have some block somewhere in the leg artery why does that happen like if you have a block in your femoral artery and if you start walking you need more blood because while walking muscles use lot of, lot of oxygen but because of the block in the artery you don't get blood and so you get cramp in the legs this is the first symptom of peripheral vascular as this progresses you will have numbness of the toes you will have black patches or a black toe we call it gangrene these are quite advanced stages so before this if you really consult vascular surgeon or peripheral intervention specialist you can prevent from such complications of amputation of toes or legs and you can have a better and healthy life we usually deal with peripheral arteries and veins by that we mean the treating the diseases which involve the peripheral arteries and nerves and veins which can cause gangrene which can cause swelling of the leg which can cause swelling of the arms and sometimes stroke now compared to the previous years we used to do most of the procedures in an open way by that we mean open vascular surgery over the period as technology developed 80% of the work that is done in vascular surgery is now endovascular now what is endovascular by endovascular we mean that we do not need to put any cuts or sutures we can simply take a small needle puncture in the artery pass a wire and we can dilate that artery we can put the stent in that artery or we can sometimes even occlude the artery if it is required now for this you require special kind of imaging machines the world has changed in the imaging also but we are largely dependent on good imaging services there are many machines which are available in indian market which uh, provides a variety of machines with variety of quality of imaging we usually prefer the machines which have a uh, good quality of contrast image resolution less radiation and easy to operate which are not very complicated to operate and for that we we prefer a small and very very handy and very very comfortable to operate machine called zyne i have been using this machine for almost 7 to 8 years now this has served me very very well it has never broken down the service support is excellent in this company and almost all the procedures that we do to name few like fistula angioplasty for ab access when we create a fistula and if it is occluding we can do a peripheral angioplasty of that fistula like superficial femoral artery angioplasty if leg artery is occluded we can do an angioplasty without opening that artery and we call it peripheral angioplasty of femoral artery like carotid angioplasty all these procedures are very very comfortably done on this machine it does not require general anesthesia usually hospital stay is for less than 24 hours and patient is mobile in less than 24 hours and this is the advantage of endovascular advance and the the progress of the technology that happened in the field of imaging i am really thankful for the support provided by the company of zim and their engineers and the support team and they always stand by us even in the middle of the night whenever we need the support thank you very much